What's up everyone, Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome to the channel. Got right here on the driveway again. I'm gonna smoke some steaks slash grill. Got a beer review coming up. Before we get to that, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment, and stay tuned. Back really soon. You're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. Welcome back everyone, Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome back to the channel. Kind of changed locations up from my uh, little introduction. Uh, noise is getting too loud over there. So came over here by the shed out here in the back of the yard. Um, let's do this beer review. All right, this is another one I got from New Belgium. This is their Voodoo Vice IPA. And this came in a variety pack, but I didn't feel like doing uh, two of them I already did and the other two I haven't done. So I'm just going to do those single. Um, I like Voodoo Ranger. Like I said before, some of them are good, some of them are not, but this is what it looks like. And on the back, it's got Vote Voodoo, Choose the Next Voodoo Ranger. So I guess this one and the other one I got are in competition of which one's going to stay on production. If you want, if you can see the barcode or the uh, QR code, you can scan it and vote. If you haven't tried these already, grab them and see what you think. The ABV is 7.1%, and that's about it. It's good till February 12, 2023. Um, and that's it. We all know where New Belgium Brune is out of, but if you don't, it's Fort Collins, <coughs> Colorado, and also in Asheville, North Carolina. So let's get into the four. Okay, she looks a little light. Wow. Cascading pretty good. She's definitely hazy. I almost went overboard. Definitely like the can art on this. Voodoo Vice. You know me. I'm an 80s guy. And who doesn't like Miami Vice? I have all the seasons on DVD. That doesn't surprise you or not. Let's get into the smell. Okay. I'm definitely getting tropical. Mango, pineapple. Maybe some passion fruit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow. Excuse me again. I'm getting maybe a little bit of citrus, orange maybe. No grapefruit. Well, I'm tired of smelling. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. <coughs> oh man, went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> the aroma. Definitely better than the taste. This is probably one of the weakest tasting Voodoo Rangers I've ever had in my life. Sorry folks, <clears throat> I swallowed my own saliva and it went down the wrong pipe <coughs> prior to drinking. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna get one more. Before I go even deeper in my review here, Man, I'm getting some light taste of tropical fruit, but man, this is like drinking a watered-down beer. 
I'm not even really getting hardly any alcohol on this. And I'm going to say this is the first Voodoo Ranger that I didn't like. And the only reason I don't like it, it has, it's weak in the taste. It's like drinking one of those, uh, <clears throat> Aldi, Aldi, whatever you call it, grocery store, uh, IPA pack that I did, variety pack. Those were really weak tasting. This is right with it. Man, Blue Ice, I don't think you're going to like this one, dude. It's just weak on the taste. There's, the aromas were there, but the taste is, is weak, man. Wow. I mean, there's a little bit of flavor in there, but not much. I bought this. I got this from Winn-Dixie. Would I buy this again? Absolutely not. Would I drink this again? I'm going to be honest with you. I may have to be rude and tell you no, and I will tell you why I said no. It's weak. Two thumbs down. Um, very disappointed in New Belgium on this one. But maybe that's why they have people voting. Um, I might review the other one here shortly too. But uh, not impressed with this one. Really kind of let me down because it's uh, got cool can art. And uh, Voodoo Vice IPA. Not liking it, guys. And cheers, everyone. I guess I'll cheers. Then we'll drink this and get to the next one. No way, Jose. All right, welcome back, everyone. Dave from Dave's TV. Um, back at the shed again. And uh, we're going to do the second review on Voodoo Ranger from New Belgium. And this one is called Danger Beach IPA. The other one was uh, Voodoo... Vice IPA, I think it was. <clears throat> and that was the uh, Miami Vice theme. This one is the Magnum PI theme. That is what she looks like. And man, I used to watch a lot of Magnum P.I. with my mom. She loved Tom Selleck. Oh my gosh. This one is 7.1% ABV. It's got the same on the back where you can scan the QR code and vote for which one you like. Well, we're about to figure that one out here. So let's get to it. This one looks light too. Holy cow. They're both hazy. Definitely, it's got a white head like the other one. Hello? It looks just like the other one. So, are these supposed to be like light IPAs? The ABV is down, but it doesn't say. Same thing on the date, February 23rd, or sorry, February 19th, 2023. Choose the next Voodoo Ranger. So one of these is supposed to be the next Voodoo Ranger. But it doesn't say if it's a light. This one looks really light like the last one. Almost looks identical. Both of them had a white head. Carbonation looks good. They're both... This one's a little hazier than the other one. This one might look a little better. I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Let's get to the smell. Oh. Okay. This one has some kind of a candy smell to it. Wind's blowing. This one smells delicious. Holy cow. Some kind of a candy. Man, I, I can't pinpoint it. Maybe a little citrus on the back end. But I'm getting candy. 
almost like a damn what was that candy called i can't remember if i figure it out i'll put it in the description but this smells awesome compared to the other one the other one had a good aroma too just the taste was weak that's all i'm getting is that candy smell so let's get to the taste of it cheers everyone <laughs> Okay, this one's much better, much better. One more. Some type of a candy. I cannot pinpoint it. It's got some uh, tropical notes in there. But this one's a little weak tasting too. It's almost like an orange candy. Maybe a Jolly Rancher? I'm not sure. Out of the two, this one's by far the better one. I might have to, when I go vote, I'm going to vote for the uh, Danger Beach. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think either one of them should be part of the Voodoo Ranger series. And I, I'm Blue Eyes, um, I'm going to look out to see if you do these reviews. And hopefully if you see this, with me reviewing it, both of these, um, keep your eyes peeled. Because I want to know your thoughts. Because I know you're very critical. And I am a little disappointed definitely in the last one and this one's a little bit better um it does have a better flavor to it it's not watered down but it's some kind of a candy flavor and i cannot pinpoint it and I, if i can figure it out i'll put it what i figured out in the description but it's some kind of a candy it's not sweet but it's a flavor of some type of candy that i used to eat when I was a kid and I cannot pinpoint it overall it's would I buy this again probably not would I drink this again um, I would if somebody gave me one I wouldn't go out of my way and hey I see that over there I'm and because I'm disappointed because of the 80s theme they had the Miami Vice theme and the Magnum PI theme on here and I was looking forward to at least one of them being pretty good but out of the two this one's the better one so if they're gonna put one out there it probably should be this one but i can tell you right now if it was just a voodoo ranger and i was going to review this it wouldn't be a good review but out of the two this one's the better one with that being said guys um Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have reviewed these or if you've tried these, let me know. This is the Danger Beach IPA. Um, it is a Voodoo Ranger. It's not officially a Voodoo Ranger yet until the boats are done. Um, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Cheers, everyone. I'm gonna give this a sideways though. Sorry, guys.